Oliver Hardy, born Norval Hardy in 1892 in Harlem, Georgia, would become part of a comedy team that would change movie history. Even though Hardy was born in Harlem, Georgia, he didn't stay there very long. His mother moved him after 11 months following the death of his father. He, his mother, moved them to Milledgeville, Georgia, where he started, uh, where she ran a uh, hotel, Baldwinville Hotel in Milledgeville, Georgia. And he uh, started running the uh, movie projector and uh, noticed that he thought he could do these things that the vaudeville people do when they come in. Oliver next found work as an actor in Jacksonville, Florida, home of the Lubin Film Company. Hardy later moved to Hollywood and by the mid-1920s he was working as an all-purpose comic at the Hal Roach Studio. Laurel and Hardy's partnership at the Hal Roach Studio began in 1926. Within a year of their first joint appearance, they were being touted as the new comedy team. After collaborating on many silent films, and as their success spread throughout the world, they began making feature films, as well as won an Oscar for their short subject entitled The Music Box. After that, they made 106 movies together and remained buddies, friends, their entire life. Today, Harlem, Georgia native Oliver Hardy is remembered for his work with Stan Laurel at the Laurel and Hardy Museum in downtown Harlem. The museum is packed with memorabilia from the comedy team. They have over 30 films that you can view and even items for sale. Even though the museum is in the small town of Harlem, it's visited by many. Indeed we have. We get probably anywhere from three to 400 people a month that come through the museum and out of that there will be 40 or 50 probably from any place in the world. And it's amazing, you name the country. The Laurel and Hardy Museum is open Tuesday through Saturday in downtown Harlem and is a must visit. For your hometown stories, I'm John Lynn, WJBF News Channel 6.